Unity, unity, unity. I'm a president for all Americans. And what we are going to push is unity. Even if I throw disparaging comments your way, unity. Yesterday on my Patreon, I went ahead and got immediately right on this so-called quote-unquote story. Uh, Texas, Mississippi, along with South Dakota, and, and a lot of people don't know about this governor of South Dakota named, uh, what's her name, Christy? Um, South Dakota has followed none of the protocols of the United States government, none whatsoever at all. And Florida has not followed hardly any of the mandates uh, of the government whatsoever at all concerning wearing masks and all this other stuff. And as a matter of fact, these two states, South Dakota and Florida, has also, they approved the powers that be to be wronged. Because without all this mask wearing, matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Georgia as well, they've carried on business as usual. And they have followed some protocols in order to lock down people, uh, lock down businesses and stuff, thereby destroying the economy of the United States of America. As a matter of fact, let me see, the virus has done become more important uh, than people living, um, living in fear. You know, I'm, I'm a man that I can make my own choices and decisions. I have enough sense. I don't need the government in my life intruding on me, treading on me, telling me what I can and cannot do. They, if that was the case, they ain't America. See, what we have been experiencing for the last year is communism and socialism. And anytime you have something new that somebody's dealing with, the first thing that people do is go to the so-called alleged quote-unquote experts. Now, what's been happening is, is that the so-called quote-unquote experts have been proven wrong again and again and again and again. And so the governor down in Texas, he ain't having it no more. Effective next Wednesday, business as usual. The whole entire state is open up. Get back to your lives. Get back to work. Let's get busy. Also, in Tennessee, my home state, uh, I think it's, it's starting this weekend. Business as usual. Uh, there's not going to be any forced mandates of you wearing masks, all this all other stuff. You know, you are an American. You get a choice and the right to pick and choose what you want to do. I mean, like I said before, have you ever typed in? To see how many people die of cigarette smoking every year, whatever's going on with this pandemic, it pales in comparison to how many people are dying at the hands of cigarettes. Legalized cigarettes every single year. And I'm talking about some horrific deaths here too. But yesterday, no, day before yesterday, um, no, it was actually yesterday, President Joe Biden came down. He came on and, he, and the first thing he did was blast uh, Governor Abbott down there in Texas. Because you got Texas, Mississippi, matter of fact, pretty much of the South. And let me tell you what's going on. What we have now is we have the blue states that want to follow every directive and every mandate of whatever the federal government puts out. But then we have the red states and of course, Georgia's allegedly been flipped to blue. But anyway, then we have all the red states that believe in freedom and liberty. And then you have the news media. Now, this is amazing. While Americans are out of jobs, while Americans are losing their jobs, you still see the same faces on news media every day going to work. You still see the president going to work. You still see all his cabinet at work. You still see everybody still functioning in the government as normal, but the, the American populace as a whole is being impoverished. I mean, so, so then you get the mainstream news media, MSNBC, CNN, you know, they, they are on the left and they're going to have a total different um, perspective about it than the people on the right. So what, what, what I think what's at stake here more than anything because everybody's talking about the alleged power curve. You know, when, when people are are um, at the uh, certain height of the power curve or the curve of people contracting this, I think we're getting ready to find out. What we're getting ready to find out is because the South is rising again and we're sitting up here watching governors telling their people, you are a free people. 
You can make your own choices and decisions. We don't have the right to intrude on your life and tell you what you can and cannot do. I mean, I, I have the same perspective. I'll give you an example. All right, I'll give you an example. I'm a pastor. All right, I'm also a veteran. I'm a father. Are you following me? I'm a brother. Um, I'm a I'm a leader of communities. Are, are y'all? I got I have many many different hats. And we have certain laws, rules, and guidelines that we follow, based upon the scriptures. And we do that. And we're in unity as a whole. Now, people have a choice and decision to make in their lives. If you're going to be a part of the ministry, part of what we're doing, um, it, it's already easily expected. It's, it's spelled out there. It's literally spelled out there. You can tell what we believe and what we do. It's openly right there. If you agree with us, come on. Come on. Uh, because whether uh, all the people who dissent and disagree with us, totally irrelevant to us. Because when you look at what we're doing and what they're doing, their life pales in comparison to what we're doing. We're, we're bearing fruit. So I don't care about what the outside says in, in that aspect. So I'm of the mindset that you have one life to live. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to digress here just for a second. I mean, they're, they're passing laws about drugs, uh, uh, marijuana, which is the gateway drug to other drugs. You start that, you're going to head on to other drugs. Uh, I've seen very few people to, to just stick with marijuana that didn't end up with crack or cocaine or heroin or whatever it was. And I grew up around this stuff. All right. But if you want to fly like an eagle, blow your mind to the moon, get drunk as Cooter Brown, jump off a mountain, uh, I, would, I don't advise that you do that. But your life is your own. You can do what you want to do with your life. I, I don't agree with it. Now, I, I passed out an assembly that we are not a government-sanctioned 501c3 church. That means no sodomites, no homosexuals, nobody of alternate uh, lifestyles. You're not coming through those doors in any way, shape, fashion, or form, and, and we have no membership for you to join. You ain't coming there. That's just all there is to it. You keep your formal life over there. And see, I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about my tax-exempt status being taken away from me because I'm not saddled up with the government. I don't have to worry about all that. I don't have to worry about the political aspect of it, anything like it. If I sense or discern in any way, shape, fashion, or form that, that you have an alternate spirit, an alternate mindset, an alternate makeup, I just simply say, get out. That's it. We have the right to do that, and we do it. Uh, you have a right to live the way you want to live. I, now, listen, I may not agree with the way you want to live, your choices and decisions. You may not agree with mine. But I'm not about to set up and make you a lifelong enemy. And I'm definitely not going to get up there, especially if I'm the president of the United States of America and I'm crying for unity and I'm going to use my platform to call you names. I mean, the other day, the, the president of the United States uh, said that Governor Abbott of Texas is implying Neanderthal thinking. Now, now most of you people don't know what Neanderthals are, but I do. It always happens. I don't know why it happens and stuff, but anyway, let's try to see if we can get this thing to work. Most of you people don't know what a Neanderthal is. Look, a Neanderthal is a neurotic caveman from the Netherlands, Iceland, you know, all these other people. These are the cavemen. And what Joe Biden is basically calling um, Joe, I'm a Greg Abbott, I think is the name of the governor of Texas, he's basically saying that this is what you are over 2,000 years ago, Iceman, caveman heritage and stuff. <laughs> so, but hey, we're building this on unity, bipartisanship. But he's the governor of that state. He can pick and choose to govern the way that he wants. And if he chooses for the people to be free and not under tyranny or tyrannical rule, that's his choice. But look, 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 look right here. Joe Biden says we shouldn't be applying neurotic Iceman, caveman, heritage, Neanderthal. <laughs> 
In other words, he's taking a pop shot at all you white governors out there. That's what he's doing. He's taking a serious shot at y'all. And you should resent it. You should. You should resent being called names by your president. That sure is some type of way to be able to bring unity in this country, though, isn't it? So what are we getting ready to do? We're getting ready to find out who's right, who's wrong. Who's right, who's wrong. We're getting ready to find out on an unprecedented scale if the governors of, the, of these states are right by telling the people and supporting the populace because, you know what I mean, the government gets its rule from the consent of the government, meaning us. We're getting ready to see. Because according to history right here, the Neanderthals are an extinct species of homos, homians that were the closest relatives to modern human beings. They lived throughout Europe and parts of Asia from about 400,000 until 40,000 years ago. Of course, if you believe that, no, I don't believe that nonsense. But anyway, but but basically, he's calling y'all a bunch of cavemen, a bunch of nonsensical buffoons of a caveman. Y'all should resent that. But that's your unity president. That's your unity president who refuses to get up and get grilled by the press and have a press conference. Who, I, I'll be surprised he ever even has a State of the Union because... I'm telling you, they have to be careful how they handle this guy because you don't never know what this cat getting ready to say. He already called uh, black people, melanated folks in this country, already illiterate. You don't know how to get on the computer. You don't know how to get to Walgreens. And, and then he used the N-word the other day in the press conference. Just I mean, just dropping it off the edge of his lip. That's the good old boy stuff. And, and, and it's a surprise to a lot of people, but I'm amazed how some of these melanated media people just ignore this stuff. So, see, they're part of the problem as well. They have a false balance about them. But anyway, nevertheless, if and but maybe or whatever you want to call it, the bottom line is this, is that Joe Biden basically saying if you follow uh, Texas Governor Abbott, you're a Neanderthal. <laughs> uh, but anyway, like I said, Everybody in government, everybody in news media go to their job, get their paychecks every single day. You got people sitting at home waiting on a stimulus check, waiting for free money to come from actually you, the taxpayer, not the government. And Biden has already done amped up business as usual with the powers that be because he already done allowed three or four missile attacks over there in Iraq and Syria. I mean, things are, are vamping up over there on that front right there. This is the time to get your popcorn. Because we're going to watch and see the majority of the states. Because you look at California and New York, they're not the poster child of how to handle this virus stuff. Definitely ain't. And they followed every single thing that the government says and look how bad off they are. Both governors are under fire for losing their jobs and stuff. And one of them... It's just simply, just like it seems to be a president, just simply can't keep their hands off women, just simply can't um, stop talking disparagingly toward them. Even if it makes no difference if they're married or not, they don't care. They just simply can't stop doing it. And yet, and peer, yet and still, people are still licking the boots of these people. I wonder who the real two Neanderthals are. We're in some serious trouble in this daytime and hour. What we'll say of you? Mm -hmm.